Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Today I want to talk with you about a tool that I wish Stuart McDonald would carry. So why would I want to make a video about a tool that I wish Stuart McDonald would carry? Well, I have designed something and I'm going to send a prototype to my buddy Eric over at StuMac and see what he thinks. Um, if you've been following my channel for very long, you might already know that the product is in fact this jig for routing Gibson style trapezoids. And uh, this is something that um, we came up with several years ago and it works great. Uh, if you've ever spent an entire weekend trying to get Gibson trapezoids to look exactly perfectly spot on, this tool is going to appeal to you. Um, you know, one of the problems with trapezoids is there's lots of straight lines, there's 22 frets, there's six strings, there's all the straight parts and everything has to match up just right or your eye will go to the defects. So, um, I came up with this and had this made and it works in conjunction with a new base for the Stumac Precision Router Base. So let me show you how this, uh, this whole setup works and um, we're gonna send the video along with the, uh, the prototype tool to Stuart McDonald and we're gonna send your comments too. So hopefully that will be a good thing for them to see if this is something that they want to, um, to include in the catalog. All right, let's get started. All right, to use my new tool, obviously you're gonna need a fretboard that is going to receive the inlay. You're going to need a Dremel Moto tool and the Stumac Precision Router Base. Obviously, you're gonna need to have the, uh, the, the inlay jig and the new base, and you're gonna to need to have some inlay. Now, when we, when we designed the, um, the, uh, this prototype, we designed it to work specifically with the Stumac trapezoid inlays, both the Mother Pearl and the Pearloid. Um, got some center lines on here. Well, you know, what? we're going to show you. So um, the first thing that we need to do is the fretboard's already slotted. We're going to go ahead and draw a center line on here because we're luthiers and everything starts with a center line. All right, so I got my fretboard here. I got this Stumac square. My fretboard looks to be two and a quarter inches. So I'm going to go ahead and say one and an eighth is perfect. Uh, we'll get that there. Ah. Get my handy dandy straight edge. And because the frets are already on here, I kind of want to line everything up with that. Okay, on my fretboard, the, uh, the uh, end of the fretboard's already been cut off, so this would be one, two, three frets right here. That's all we really need for now, so we don't put the thing in the wrong spot. There's a center line on the, um, on the jig here. And what we need to do is we need to make sure that we're equidistant on all the other parts of the fretwork. And this is really easy to do. You can even do it by eye. Um, I'm going to go ahead and double stick tape this guy down to right here. And let's say on the fourth fret too. So I've got some of this 3M double stick tape. And I think the double stick tape market might go under if it wasn't for for guitar makers these days. Okay, so everything is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and stick that down. And that looks pretty solid. All right, so the next thing we have to do is we have to install this base plate that we had made. Now this has a brass bushing that is oversized and if you couldn't tell already, these trapezoid um, cutouts are oversized too. So what's gonna happen is, the 1 16th bit is going to go in here. Let me see if we can get that in the picture. And it's actually going to cut uh, an undersize. It won't cut exactly the same size as the, um, as the trapezoid in the piece of acrylic here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to attach the base plate to our Stumac Precision Router Base. And we are going to use the 5 64ths Allen key to Pull this guy off. We'll just pop the new one right on. It's as simple as that. All right, I've got my base on the, uh, the, the precision router and I've got everything adjusted. Taking a piece of this Stumac Perloid inlay and it looks awfully close. We're gonna go ahead and run with that because um, it looks pretty good. Now, if you have the Stumac plunge version of this, you are even more ahead of the curve. All right, I've got my template uh, 
double stick tape to my fretboard and I've got the fretboard clamped to my table. I've got the, uh, the new base attached to my Stumac Precision Router Base uh, guide here and um, we're going to plug in our Dremel tool and we're just going to go for it. And I'll show you how easy it is. And that is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and do all the rest of them before I pull the template off and clean up the edges. So all of the slots are in the board now and it was a snap because the bearing or rather the bushing just simply rode on the acrylic piece here and I didn't have to worry about a bearing or something going from the top and riding directly on the, um, the piece of acrylic and you know how sometimes it can damage the piece if you pull it off too soon. The uh, bushing really makes uh, gives you a good safety net for that kind of stuff. So I've given this a second look and everything looks pretty good. And it's time to pull the, um, the acrylic template off. All right, as you can see, the inlays are pretty much ready to go. They all look pretty good. And the only thing that you have to do next is either clean up these corners um, with a sharp chisel or an X-Acto knife because the cutting bit is round and the corner bits on the Stumac um, trapezoid inlay are, well, angular. So it actually fits. You can see that it fits in there just fine, but you have to make it look better. You have to kind of clean it up a little bit. One other thing that you could do is you could round over these corners and it'd plop right in. Um, I like to just go ahead and... and um, Man, but yeah, it, it's gonna look great. I like to just go ahead and get in there with, uh, with a sharp chisel and it's no big deal. So there you have it, a pretty slick jig and a pretty slick extra feature to a product that Stumac already makes that makes inlaying something that I have find to be a real pain um, very, very easy. And of course it works with all of Stumac's other stuff. So I think this is a no-brainer for Stumac. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below because I'm sending all of this stuff to them, including this fretboard, um, and they might want to use the video comments to gauge the, you know, what the marketplace is for a tool such as this. But imagine some of the other stuff you could do too. You could do Fender Custom blocks. You could do Fender blocks. You could even do dots. Um, kind of the sky's the limit. You could use this for lots of other things. Um, if you like the video, give us the thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you've already done both of those things, one thing that you can absolutely do that will really help us out uh, as a guitar building community is share this video as many places as you can, and let's let Stu Mac know what we think of something like this. So until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. And let's see if we can get Stu Mac to help us out. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>